Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is your Witchy Wednesday Aries, and I hope you guys are fantastic. We have so much going on right now. It is great, um, very unusual. We are in Gemini season. We're one day or two days away from the full moon, and we have this yod energy going on on both the East Coast and West Coast. So you could be feeling it no matter where you are in North, uh, North America, basically. We have the sun in Gemini and we have Venus in Cancer. Um, and we have the yod going from the moon in Scorpio to Pluto, which is a very disruptive energy. It kind of just makes things not easy because it's bringing things that are hidden up from um, the bottom, up from wherever it's hidden. So it could be something wrong with your car that you don't know about. It could be a machine that's getting ready to break. Um, and it would have an emotional component. So you would feel kind of frustrated because things are going back and forth, back and forth to Pluto, the moon's energy over to Pluto in Aquarius, and it would affect many people. So it's not Okay, so let's see what we have here for Aries. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus sign, our placements, Aries. I got the spell work and manifestation. So something here is coming true for you. Something that you've been wanting in your life. Um, something that could be you, where you've putting, been putting your intention into this. You've been really wanting it. You know, maybe you've been doing any kind of spell work. Um, so it says spells of manifestation are coming in. So I have something important may have happened last autumn or coming up this autumn. The energy of autumn. The watchtower of autumn. Tarot cards. Using tarot cards to get guidance. For things. And then I have here doing some scrying in the mirror. Um, mirror scrying is really weird. So you can look in the mirror at yourself in your own eyes and you can kind of like see yourself, you know, you're looking into your true like soul and seeing like, you know, do you like how things are going for yourself? Scrying mirror is really difficult. It is like shadow work. It says shadow work on the card there. And what else Aries on this witchy Wednesday? It's the spirit of initiation. Okay. This is where you're going through something new for the first time that perhaps you'd become a part of something. Moon cycles, which is coming up. We do have that full moon on the 21st. And then we have the witch's cottage, the safety and the security of home. This is really, really important. This actually makes you feel safe and secure. The home, anything that brings you comfort. Uh, it, it is about a residence or a home, an apartment somewhere where you're living that brings you comfort. It means you have safety and security. Okay, I've also got the hearth of homecoming. Okay, the hearth of homecoming, coming, I'm not quite sure. Um, we'll just look that one up. Do something for yourself. Okay, and so that's kind of what I was thinking today with this yod. Um, it is Juneteenth. You could do something pleasurable for yourself um, to navigate around. Do something that um, home is where the heart is. It's something that makes you feel close to your family, what's important to you, and where your loyalties lie. Okay. So those are the witch's wisdom messages. And I will just get one here for the witch's kitchen to show you an herbal remedy. Oh. Elderflower. Oh my gosh, I was just thinking about el elderflower yesterday. You can use elderflower for warding off negative energies. So there is elderflower syrup you can buy and you can put it in a, you know, a, a little drink for yourself like with sparkling water. Elderflower syrup tastes really, really good. You can put it in any kind of drink and it is for warding off negative energies. So the other one I have here is turmeric, which I was also thinking about today. Turmeric is really good for anti-inflammation and it says it's for diversity. Diversify with turmeric. Okay. Turmeric is really good for overall body health and 
anti-inflammation. Um, so let's see. Let's move on now to the Aries message. I've got a little card in there popping out. Oh, we got the chariot, which is like a huge success in your life. We have something here about great success, possibly. All right. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus sign, Aries. See what's coming up for this witchy weekly message. Let's go Wednesday to Wednesday. Goes for Aries. King of Water. It could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Strong emotions. Someone's taking action on how they feel. Could be your energy as well. It is sort of the energy of a Scorpio. Whoa, we got three kings. Look at this. We got a king of Earth, a king. There's a lot of change happening. Actually, in astrology, the king is the yod. So it's a change. So we have an important change. We have a fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the earth here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. You're getting something new and amazing with the Ace of Pentacles. New opportunity to build and develop something very, very meaningful, very prosperous we have the wheel of fortune turning in your favor success favorable energy positive changes major arcana card as well for change that is fate and destiny page of pentacles okay it could be dealing with an earth sign or you could also be getting a message some communication Hermit. Okay, so we have major arcana for big discoveries, important discoveries. Someone who shines the lamp on a discovery that they've made. What is your energy here, Aries? Wow, you're really working on getting to your Ten of Pentacles. You're in an Eight of Pentacles. Very specific. Looking closely at details. Earth element energy. It is energy of Virgo. Uh, so there's something here about working towards a goal. Or perhaps you are not letting anything distract you right now. You could be researching. Oh, we got the Empress energy. The Goddess of Great Abundance. Okay, so we have wealth, prosperity, abundance around you. Oh, we got, wow. Okay, so I'm going to take these because they're right next to each other. It looks like you may have a choice. We, we do have a victory. So this is the Six of Wands. This is the energy of the hero, the hero's march, the victory energy. And then we have here the emperor. So you're in an energy of taking back your power, knowing who you are. It's the, this is the major arcana card of ownership, um, personal, um, personal ownership, knowing who you are, sitting in your power. The emperor is a self-made individual. This is a self-made energy. Oh my gosh, so I had this this morning. If you watch today's daily, the Emperor and the Empress were in the same position. So these are these are complementary energies, but they are um, meant to be. Like these are, I don't know, some kind of complementary energy. We have the Empress, the Goddess of Abundance, and we have you here as the Emperor. So we have a very important connection. Okay, what is the eight of coin? Why is Aries in a Virgo energy? Or what is the Virgo energy here? Eight of coin. You're not giving up on something. Okay, today it showed you were eight, nine of rods reversed, but now it's showing your nine of rods, which means maybe you're just really tired physically. You could be like, um, not wanting to quit. It's definitely worth it to you with the nine of fire. That is root chakra energy. So something is definitely worth it. It's very important to you. 
and you're putting in the time, the real effort. You're not, this is not an imaginary thing. This is not just an idea or a dream. This is the real work and the work pays off over here. You're wanting this minor victory though, which is kind of funny. You're wanting minor arcana for a minor challenge. You're like, I just want to overcome and like get to the other side. So, you know, that um, I can feel like I'm making a difference. You're do make there's more than a difference here. Emperor, Empress, the eight of coin is minor arcana. The nine of wands is minor arcana, but these are everyday energies. You could have given up. You could have quit. Um, you have this wheel, most importantly, you have this wheel of fortune coming in that you will be aware of, of faded changes that are very positive. So let's see what this ace of coin is as the root of the issue. So you have this ace of pentacles, which is coming in and sort of causing this situation. Um, this is causing all of this to happen. So it could be a letter, a document, a check, um, a contract you're going to sign, anything like this. The eight of pentacles leads to something more that is tangible. It's not just an idea. So what is this ace of pentacles? Show us the Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups. It affects other people. It's a social energy. Um, feelings of Pisces. This is like, it, you know, a Pisces, Scorpio sort of energy with Cancer. It, it's a shared feeling amongst other people. It could be a minor celebration, like something that you're celebrating. Knight of Coin. So here's the coin coming in. Through the delivery of the messenger, the knight of coin brings in this coin. How are you the emperor here? Some of you are being promoted to some kind of senior position. This is senior, like senior energy. Um, it looks like you could have quit if you wanted to. But what is the emperor as the result? Oh my gosh. So the emperor is number four and this is a number four as well. You're being very stationary, like solid. Like this is what I have. This is, you know, you're not being um, typical Aries, like living in the moment. Um, you're not just sort of like living for today. You're actually very, this is very planned energy, which is good. Even though the wheel comes in, why does the wheel come in here and turn for Aries? In the next week or so, why is the wheel coming in and turning? Okay, so if you watch the daily, once again, <laughs> I have this King of Swords again. So there's someone who is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius placements. They are giving you of their final word, their final decision. They're not asking you questions. They're telling you this is what it is. Why are you nine of wands? You don't want to give up. You don't want to quit. Because you're a queen of the fire. Aries, Leo, Sag court card for someone in you know authority possibly not the decision maker but you're the person who gets it all done and oversees and you've put in the work you've put in the real money or something like that or time pentacles can be time because time is value and then here we have you as the queen of wands ending up as the emperor kind of a rags to riches energy i don't want to just say rags to riches but it kind of is a little bit um four of coin being very cautious what is four of coin again we have the four of wands so you're coming up in the energy of four which is like i don't want to risk if i don't have to but i'm going to have what i have and everything is going to be very comfortable uh it could be a relationship so we have this sort of Capricorn Aries energy. Um, Capricorn is the 10th house of our career or our karma. You've reap you're reaping what you've sowed here because you didn't give up on something that's very important to you with the nine of wands and the eight of pentacles. Oh, this is, uh, so we had the fool in the daily this morning. So this is going to play out over the next week. What you don't see is there is a new beginning. There is something fresh and new that you've never done before. Something that you've never 
um, tried or, you know, the fool is fresh, new, no burdens, burdens are taken away. So whatever it is that perhaps you feel burdened by, it's going to be gone and you're going to be back in this energy of ownership. What's behind the fool? Nine of swords. Yeah, there's a lot of fear for some reason. Like there's a lot of possibly even sleep, sleepless nights. We're wondering, to me, this is when you're not getting the information you need. There's some information that you need that you're just not getting. Um, magician. Someone is telling you that you've got options or choices after something big may have occurred. Okay, something that may have been quite disruptive. Um, all right, so let me just get a couple of clarifying cards here and see what's popping out. All right. Okay, so Aries, you're ending up literally in the 444. And I've had a few videos that I've even done private readings for people, and they've come up 4444, 444. I've, this has been happening a lot. So you've got 444 as your result. Very lucky number. Um, okay, show us what this Empress is around Aries. Show us what this Empress is around the Aries. Could be a matriarch, someone who is very abundant. They could have enough to share with you. A page of fire. Exciting news. Okay. What is the wheel turning here for with the king of swords? What's that about? Five of coins. Something that you need with this five of coins. There's something that you need. The pentacle is underlying. You do need this. Oh my gosh, look, we got King of Swords again. Here he is. He's telling you what you're going to get. <laughs> it could be a job. It could be a loan. It could be a car you're buying. It could be something that you've been very diligent. Okay, show us the outcome with the 444. Four, four. Page of Pentacles again, which was kind of here in the past. It's a messenger. It's kind of a subordinate energy. Somebody... Who has the pentacle to give to you, giving you the message? Oh my goodness, now we really have 444. In the past energy, it's kind of showing here you didn't want it. Or there was something about like rejecting it. What's this outcome about? Ten of Cups. I'll take the justice too. We got Ten of Cups, which is a lot of happiness, complete and fulfilled emotions. Um, justice too. Oh, with the Six of Coin. <gasps> And the King of Water and the Judgment. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we have what's fair. So you may not be getting like a giant windfall, but you're getting something that is fair. You're getting justice, Libra energy, enforcement through the sword and the scales. That can be through the court. Um, uh, it can be anything, but it's, it's a major arcana. So it has to do with things beyond your control. So... We have the six of coin. You're getting that pentacle you need. It could be. I'm hearing like all kinds of weird things. <laughs> I'm not going to even say I'm hearing like medications you may need or um, for some reason, like life support services, something that you need that is being withheld or take it's delayed. It's being given to you um, for something that and it's going to be. A given or directed it could be a court order because we have this king of water and resurrection energy with the um, judgment card of resurrection so we have a renewal revival we have divine intervention this king of water is key and this was the first card that fell out so this person can be a healer they can be um, any kind of water sign or someone with strong water placements but it could be Typically, a healer or someone with strong water placements is a creative person, a doctor, um, a compassionate individual. We have the judgment. We have divine, divine intervention coming in, giving you this pentacle you need, giving you this opportunity, this money, this contract, whatever it is you, you're needing that possibly was withheld is now coming in for you. And it could also be because of this matriarch energy of the Empress. It looks really good, Aries. Okay, so I'm going to just pull one more for this witchy <laughs> message. 
I got the witchcraft witch's hat of power. So uh, maybe some of you need to get a witch's hat of power. I don't know. This moon cycles is coming out again. The Beltane, that's springtime energy, something happening in the spring, air, imagination. Dedication of the altar. Some of you could create a little altar. Some of you have already emailed me and told me you do create altars of like gifts for spirits or ancestors. It's coming out again. So that's what I have for you, Aries, for your Witchy Wednesday. I hope all of you are fantastic. This message should, should last whenever you come to it. It will just be the energy of what it is. This is the message for you. So thank you so much, Aries, for watching, and I will see you next time.